Hello everyone. Welcome to DVS Math. I am Deepa Prasad. Today continuing number system class 9 exercise 1.5 question number 4. Represent 9.3 on the number line. In previous session we had represented root 7, root 3, root 5 on the number line. Now we are going to represent root 1 9.3 on the number line. So for that first take a scale. First mark 9.3. Draw a line segment 9.3 centimeter. 9.3 centimeter. So now we got 9.3. Mark it as A, B. Now extend this. This now it is. This is 9.3 centimeter. Now extend this 9.3 for one centimeter. So keeping at B scale just ex extend 1 centimeter it becomes 1 centimeter means 9.3 plus 1 it is 10.3 so this point consider it as c now we have to consider midpoint for a and c midpoint for a and c for that draw a perpendicular bisector take more than half for a and c not a and b for a and c so this is 1 centimeter extra here. So it is 10.3 now. So now for A and C we have to take a midpoint. So take more than half. Draw perpendicular bisector. So from C cut one arc. From A take another arc. From C one arc. Now here we got one point midpoint. So from that midpoint, draw line segment, vertical line, which touches this AC. Consider the, this point as M now. Now from consider M as center, M as center, AM as radius, M as center, AM as radius. Draw one semicircle, draw semicircle. So not at the bottom, just a top. So we got one semicircle now. Clear. So now we got one semicircle. So for this semicircle, we need to find the midpoint. How to find the midpoint? Taking perpendicular bisector for A and C. Now from B, from B, you have to draw one perpendicular. That means 90 degree from B. Point B. Compass, you draw a semicircle from protractor. So now, just from this, you mark 90 degree here. So now, from here, draw perpendicular 90 degree. But just it touches the semicircle, not till the top. Just it has to touch the semicircle. Mark this point as D now. Mark this point as D. Now, just to extend this, just... Now, here we have to ex just to extend for some distance. Don't measure it. Just to extend it. Just to extend line. So, now from compass, measure BD now. Measure BD. So, if you measure BD from D, you cut an arc till it touches this number line. Till it touches this number line. Clear? So now this is 9.3. Clear? From A to C. Observe from this A to C. C. If you consider C, this is 10.3. Clear? This is 10.3. After that, take one perpendicular bisector to find the midpoint of AC. And after getting a midpoint, take that as a center, AM as a radius, draw a semicircle. From point B, take 90 degree. Using a protractor or by cutting an arc also, you can, without using protractor also, you can take 90 degree. Clear? So, if we draw a line perpendicular 90 degree, it touches the semicircle at point D. And may take a measurement of BD. BD is nothing but a, consider it as BF. 
clear bd or you can consider be e e or at least e so bd and b both are equal here and this point we call it as root 9.3 this point we call it as root 9.3 this is how you have to construct or you have to represent root 9.3 on the number line clear so if the same case if they ask for 3.5 or if they ask for th represent root 3.5 on the number line what you will do first take 3.5 on the number line first measure it take 3.5 take one more centimeter extra it becomes 4.5 make it as c take perpendicular bisector for ac to find the midpoint and taking midpoint as a center and remaining am or it is bmc as a radius draw semicircle and after drawing a semicircle from point b take 90 degree using protractor or without using protractor and mark it as point d and bd from bd measure bd and cut an arc make a arc which it touches the number line or from be or bd so we can write it as bd or be which is equal to square root of 9.3 this is how you have to consider square root of or represent square root of 9.3 the same as if they give other number 3.5 or 7.1 or other examples so please practice this this is very important and also root 5 root 7 also important so this is how about the question number 1 point exercise 1.5 question number 4 thank you